guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be testing and taking a look at the Tico 32 4-in-1 ESC. Now this is from Hollybro and you know this is the successor I would say possibly or hopefully to the Tico 32 ESCs because those are still the best ESCs I have ever tested and hopefully this one will not disappoint. Now 4-in-1 ESCs tend to not have enough space to add the correct amount of filtration to have an ESC run pretty efficient and good as well. So this one is taking a quite a it's taken quite a bit of a different approach actually. So this is a 4-in-1 ESC. It's rated for 35 amps. It is a BL Heli 32 ESC. And if we flip it over, you see that there's current sensing for each ESC, so that's very good. You also they also provide us with a telemetry wire so we can actually get all the data uh, we need from each ESC. Isn't that awesome? That is just beautiful. I really like that. Now let's talk about filtration. When you take a look at this board, you can actually see that, you know, every place they possibly could put a capacitor, they've gone ahead and done that, which is very good. So uh, in theory, they should perform pretty well, actually, or hopefully. So as you can see here, we have a nice array right here. We have a huge array of caps right there. And we have one little tantalum cap right there. So let's just flip it over. And we got more caps here. We got one little guy there, another guy, just a bunch of capacitors, which is very good to see. And um, hopefully this will perform very good. And this is what I'm hoping for right now, actually. So as you can see here, we have these little silver linings here. Uh, if you go ahead and add solder to these, but be careful if you do that. You, you do improve the current flow inside the ESC itself. So that's very good. If, if, you, if you want to do that, you can do that. You can also put some here on this little outer part right there. Uh, that'll also help increase with the current flow and um, should be overall pretty good actually. So it, like I mentioned, it's a BL Heli 32. It is a 35 amp ESC rated up to 50 amp burst and uh, runs D shot 1200. And um, you know what? Enough talking and let's get testing. Alright guys, so the results are in and the Tico 32 4 one ESC did not disappoint at all. It actually just completely um, outdid everything I've ever seen, which is pretty insane actually. It's really, really good, uh, at least here in the bench testing. So let's take a look at these pictures here. So on the upper left we have the Dal RC engine. So I'm going to go ahead and compare this with the Dal RC engine 4 one ESC. So on the left here we have the throttle noise test on a Dell RC engine where we got 10% throttle, 25, 50, 75, and 100% throttle. This is a Dell RC. Here we have the Tico 32 4-in-1 ESC's throttle noise test. 10%, 25, 50% throttle, 75%, and 100% throttle. Now you could see this is just, look, look, you could see the difference. This is almost like twice as good if not a little bit more it's just insanely good right here um you know the transition between uh 50 and 75 percent uh i've never seen anything like this usually it's looking like this uh, the 75 percent throttle is always the most inefficient um but here look at this that's just clean and just insanely beautiful um it's just it's very good so let's just take a look here the average for the voltage spike on the throttle noise level test on the Dal RC was around 22.5, I would say, some of that nature. Here we were getting around 19 volts, so it, there's a noticeable difference here. 
Um, now let's go ahead and just move down to these two pictures. Now these are the custom noise script. This is where I simulate kind of like hard maneuvers or quick maneuvers, you know, throttle up, throttle down very fast. And that kind of is what pushes the noise or the, you know, high current gets pushed back into the components and creates problems uh, such as noise. It also creates problems in burning components out. If you get in such a very nasty big voltage spike that's just carrying a bunch of current with it, that's what burns stuff out sometimes. Nowadays we rarely see that, but it still it does happen every once in a while on very bad ESCs. Now let's take a look here. Now this is a night and day difference, and I've never seen an ESC perform like this. Now don't forget, again, this is a 4-in-1 ESC, and all the filtration, all the capacitors were active just on one motor. So with four motors, it's completely different, but I am currently unable and I don't have the equipment to set up four motors on this test. So we're just working with one motor to get us a, um, to give us some insight of how well this performs and uh, gives us, you know, a, a help us make an educated uh, purchase, if you would say. So let's take a look here. Now, you know, this is just... I, I'm just really speechless. I've never been so speechless. I have no idea what to say right here. I don't even need to say anything. You guys could just see it for yourself. Um, so the voltage spike, 18.8 here, 23.4. So a voltage spike of two volts on such a mean test is just incredible. Let's leave it at that. Uh, minimum voltage spike was 13.2. So how many volts has it dropped from 16.8? We could say three, um, around three something volts. I'm sorry, just my mouth is completely off. I've been sick for the past couple of days. Anyways, 13 volts, and here we got 11.4 volts. So 13.2 volts is very good, like very good. So 11.4 is not bad either. Uh, it's, it's also good, but this is obviously better. So the Tico 32 4 one ESC seems like an absolute beast in... Um, hands down is just it's looking insane um it has all the options you need uh it's about time you know we've been wanting a proper bl heli 32 4 in 1 esc with telemetry current sensing and all that good stuff now it just outdid everything it really did i'm i'm impressed you know and here's the data for yourself you guys can see it by yourself so i will have the excel sheet prepared with the updated data of the dell rc engine and the tico 3241 esc it might come with the same time as this video or it might be delayed just a little bit so i'll uh, just keep checking the links down below the excel sheet will be there and that's going to conclude it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, i would really love it if you guys could consider joining my patreon helping me through the mission where we could document everything get everything in you could also use the affiliate links down there those greatly support the channel and please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you next time see you guys take care